Okay, so today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the 2009 Nahalem Mac Pro. And so basically, yeah, that's the box there. Uh, the box obviously isn't that important, but they, if you want to know, they changed it from um, black to white. The 2008, 2007, and 2006, I think, were all black. That's This is now white. Not that it's that important, but yeah. So getting on the real stuff, as you can see, it comes with the standard Apple keyboard, which is good. I like it. I uh, prefer the wireless. Um, but it is, it's a great keyboard, if anybody's going to get one. And so it also comes with a wired Mighty Mouse, as you can see. Um, also everything Mac and everything else. Um, everything Mac's basically instructions, and everything else is your restore CDs. Um, you know, all that type of stuff. So that's everything Mac, just all instructions and that. If you need to use them, and... Yeah, okay, so getting into the real stuff, the Mac Pro. You can see, that's it there, it weighs about 40 kilos. That's pretty heavy. Um, so... This is it here. As you can see, a pretty cool Apple seal. Um, that's what it looks like on the front. But before I get into the hardware, just want to explain to everybody <clears throat> the new Nahalem Mac Pro is basically uh, Nahalem is the code name for Core i7, so it has the Core i7 in it, um, which is great because that's you know latest cutting edge technology and processes so that's excellent I also added an Intel X25e uh, solid state drive which is 250 MB read and 170 MB write which is excellent you'll see a test video at the end of how fast it is and <clears throat> also inside of it is the ATI Radeon HD 4870 which is great as well and so inside mine it's um two 2.93 gigahertz uh, Nahalem processors which is a total of eight cores uh, thanks to uh, hyper threading it is actually 16 virtual cores <clears throat> eight real cores and so yeah really nice job that Apple's done on all the design and that um, so yeah getting back into the hardware this is what it looks like with the cover off so you can see right there, the first thing you see is the ATI Radeon HD 4870 and the fans and the great clean design that Apple's done. You see at the front, you've got your RAM modules, which I have in uh, two gig pairs, which adds up to 12 gigs. And you see that two little uh, trays at the bottom um, actually pull out and you can get your RAM and, and that out and you can even upgrade the processor. You can see that's the fans there. Above that is a one terabyte drive. There's three um, spare PCI Express expansion slots there. And as you can see, the logic board there. And there's the Nahalem process behind the um, <coughs> metal protection things, or the cases rather, with uh, fans in them to keep them cool, which is really good. Obviously, get the RAM, and that's a tray that comes out. So going back up, you can see at the back of it, you got the power. You've got your Dual Link DVI and Mini Display Port. Your two far away hundreds optical audio, dual gigabit Ethernet, etc. All the standard stuff. Uh, so the front's got two USB, two far away eight hundred, etc. I said to give another zoom in on that card because it really is a nice looking card and the uh, logic board, it's all nice. So this is the test that I'm going to do. I'm not going to include folders because it it really doesn't do it justice um, because it just opens a bunch of folders first and then it opens the app. So I'm just going to open apps straight away. Now, Office and that is going to crash because I haven't actually updated them and that so it doesn't work with Snow Leopard. Uh, and Photoshop wasn't placed in the right place, so that's not going to open either. The rest of it is all going to open though. So you can just get, uh, you know, an example of how fast the Intel X25e is. 
So away we go. Yeah, that's fast. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, subscribe for more tech videos.